Good morning. This is our first job. It was 29 degrees last night. We did have our little space heater in the trailer. Uh, we will be winterizing this trailer, I think in about a week and a half. We just won't risk it. And then we'll run for the winter months, water otter, air hog, and we also have two extractors and we have VLM. So we're not worried about that. And this won't get fired up until end of March or mid April, depending on the weather. But uh, first room, our first house, dog odor. And we're gonna check for some uh, urine. We did a pre-vac. Clean sock filter. This was pre-treated, we're, we're using a uh, green dragon. We did a spike with uh, strike force and a splash of uh, unchained. Cute little puppy. We're doing that throw rug. We're running about, let's see, that's 50. We're running about 100 feet. And uh, she's looking for urine. You said you smelled some urine? I smell it too. It's right up here somewhere. Did you find it? Yeah, it's a little tiny thing. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I smell it. I mean, it's it's very faint. You got you have some unchained in I your crew. You have some unchained, so just put a little extra in that area, and I think you'll be good. And we'll hit it with deodorizer afterwards. Did you pre-treat everything already, or no? No. I'm still go with the uh, the ETM why do we do that I know a lot of people ah, why don't you just get a truck mount why didn't you we didn't want a truck mount to start off with we didn't want a used piece of equipment we wanted it brand new and uh, in the long run you save money all right here's a lot of reasons why we have four LX back motors one goes out you could still run. Two goes out. You could still run. Right. Um, or we have the choice to run the air hog and water otter. And you can run a mighty hot box. And we're still flowing. Uh, we've already had issues where it had to go in the shop. I think our back motor and repair come out to like, back motors come out to like 560 or some shit. That's still not bad. $560 in, in, our, in our equipment was out the next day. Um, as of right now, for backup we have two extractors and some 175s for VLM if we need to, if, if, you know, for backup situations. However, Emily just bought a water otter. So we have the air hog. So basically we'll have a mini, a mini ETM. And then she just bought the Mighty Escape ETM Plus with three LX back motors. And she's going to slowly put that together and that should be done by end of april so we'll have two units we also just purchased an old school steam genie for 400 bucks we're taking that to tim yeeter to get rebuilt and that should be up and running by hopefully may or june hopefully we still got to get a band to mount that in and everything so you know no rush on that but then, like I said, we'll also have the water otter with the uh, 
the air hall. So basically, we're going to end up having four setups. Two ETMs, one gas truck mount, and a mini TF, uh, uh, ETM. And I think I'm going to put that in a minivan. So uh, things are looking good. It's been a struggle as far as uh, winter months when we're down. But it's been a lot of hard work, man. Just me and my daughter grinding every day and trying to get this together. I will do a video on how it all began and how it all started and the story behind everything. And at the age of 14, when I started, I actually say who started me off. And uh, it's gonna be a real cool video, man. I mean, to hear my testimony and, and where where we where we started and where we're at now and where we plan to be in the future. But hey, not bad, man. After my daughter started at 14 years old, she's 19 now. She runs a full-time business and she's about to have four carpet cleaning vans setups. Hey, that's not bad, man. By 22 years old, she might have five. If there's any young bucks out there, man, anything is possible. It's just up to you whether you want to get your ass up out of bed and do it. But you guys stay tuned. There's more videos to come, also the testimony. <clears throat> and you'll be seeing uh, other setups. But yeah, again, why did we go with the ETM? Man, low maintenance cost. I mean, we're saving so much money and we can still flow. If we're down, we can keep running in a lot of different situations. But we're gonna do a different video on that with when the, when the machine shut down and quiet. We'll go over, go over everything as far as how it works, what we can do, how we run, how the setup started, how we got blessed with some equipment. Um, again, I wanna thank uh, Magic Wand for uh, also helping out with some really good equipment. Thank you guys. Let's go see what Emily's doing. You okay? pretty soon <laughs> she's gonna know what it's like to pull her own hoses back guys short video like I said stay tuned for the other ones coming up I may not get to them this year but I have some great testimony and great videos coming up and uh, I think they'll be pretty cool because these testimonies and where we started could really help somebody even some young kids that don't even know what they're gonna do with their lives yet or even some people coming out of prison that you know want to start something and don't need a whole lot of money to start you know hopefully this video can help them too um, have a blessed one and keep grinding never give up